landmarks provide us with a feeling of place. These monuments and natural beauties bind us to a place and encourage us to explore. The Eiffel Tower is in Paris, while the Statue of Liberty is in New York City. These locations, each significant to their region and history, should be on your bucket list when exploring the world. Angkor, Siem Reap, Cambodia One of Southeast Asia's most important archaeological monuments is the sprawling Angkor Temple Complex. The Khmer Empire historically flourished from the 9th to the 15th century at this UNESCO World Heritage Site. Book a tour guide to better comprehend Angkor's history and its distinctive Khmer architecture. Whether you hire a guide or go it alone, make sure to climb to the summit of Angkor Wat for absolutely breathtaking views. Sydney Opera House, Sydney The Sydney Opera House is one of Australia's most popular tourist attractions and one of the most recognizable structures in the world. It is also one of the world's busiest performing arts venues. Take the Sydney Opera House tour, a guided, hour-long tour that costs $40, about $29 US dollars, to get to know the famed Opera House. A full backstage tour of the arena is one of the extra guided alternatives. Stay for drinks or supper at one of the venue's outdoor eateries afterward. The Eiffel Tower, Paris the Eiffel Tower is one of the world's most visited sites, particularly in June, July, and August, so visit during the shoulder seasons, spring or fall, to avoid crowds. Spend the extra money to get to the top of this landmark building for unrivaled views of Paris. After that, lunch at 58 Tour Eiffel or the renowned Le Jules Verne. After sunset, you'll understand why Paris is renowned as the City of Light, the Eiffel Tower puts on its own stunning light display every hour on the hour after dark. Taj Mahal, Agra, India The Taj Mahal was built as a memorial to Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan's beloved bride. UNESCO has designated this sumptuous edifice, finished in 1648, as the outstanding example of Indo-Islamic architecture. The Taj Mahal is located in the city of Agra and is accessible from the capital city of New Delhi through an hour air flight or a three-hour train ride. Given the massive crowds that this world-renowned landmark attracts, it's recommended to come early in the morning. Plus, going early in the morning allows you to capture the dawn, which will undoubtedly shed a beautiful glow on the white marble tower. Burj Khalifa, Dubai, United Arab Emirates The Burj Khalifa is the world's tallest building and highest freestanding structure, towering more than 2,716 feet tall. This remarkable architectural marvel has more than 160 floors and provides breathtaking views of Dubai below. Visitors need book tickets ahead of time to get entrance to the world's tallest observation deck, at the top, Burj Khalifa Sky. Then, travel to the lounge, Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest lounge, for afternoon tea or champagne at sunset. Machu Picchu, Machu Picchu Archaeological Park, Peru Machu Picchu, the ancient Incan city, is set on a peak in the Andes Mountains, 8,047 feet above sea level. Before seeing this amazing location, spend the nights in neighboring Aguas Calientes to acclimate to the region's altitude. Then, take a bus or climb to the citadel in the early morning. It's vital to note that there is an entry cost to visit, so you'll need to plan ahead of time. 
There are also extra expenses to hike to the summits of Huayna Picchu and Machu Picchu, which provide even more breathtaking vistas. The Great Wall of China, China The Great Wall of China, which was built more than 2,300 years ago, is the world's longest wall, reaching 13,170 miles in length. The Mushianyu portion, the longest and one of the most renovated sections of the wall, is the most visited place near Beijing. If you want to have more of an experience, go to Jianko, the most dangerous region. The unrestored Jianko provides a difficult climb with high inclines throughout. May and June are the finest months to visit because of the beautiful weather and surroundings. Mount Rushmore National Memorial, Keystone, South Dakota. This renowned American monument overlooks the gorgeous Black Hills and is a must-see in South Dakota. Arrive before sunrise for the greatest photo opportunities when the golden light lights the four American presidents' faces. If you're visiting during the summer, don't miss the nightly lighting ceremony, which takes place from May to September. This outdoor event includes a documentary describing the monument's history and construction, as well as a homage to soldiers while the sculpture is lighted. Mont Saint-Michel, Normandy, France. This historic Benedictine abbey is one of Europe's most stunning sites. Mont Saint-Michel, which dates back to the 9th century, rises atop an island in the Bay of Saint-Michel, at the meeting point of Brittany and Normandy. Visitors can get to the abbey via foot, bus, or maringote, horse-drawn carriage. Stay on the island for a treat and savor a world-renowned omelette at La Mer Poulard or Normandy classics like crepes and galettes. St. Basil's Cathedral, Moscow St. Basil's Cathedral stands conspicuously in the heart of Moscow's Red Square. The cathedral, which was erected between 1555 and 1561 during the reign of Ivan IV, sometimes known as Ivan the Terrible, is a symbol of the Russian Orthodox Church. After touring the church, go to the Kremlin and Lenin's Mausoleum, both of which are located on Red Square. Summers are short and highly crowded, so plan your Moscow visit for the fall or, if you can withstand the cold, the winter when snow blankets the city. The Acropolis, Athens, Greece Climb to the summit of this rocky hill in Athens to see the Acropolis, one of the most remarkable ruins of the ancient Greek civilization. Then, go among the ruins to visit the world-renowned Parthenon Temple. After that, pay a visit to the Acropolis Museum, which houses precious antiques and statues uncovered from the sacred rock. Visit during the shoulder seasons of spring or fall to enjoy cooler temperatures and less visitors. Easter Island, Chile This remote island, located 2,300 miles off the western coast of South America, is one of the most enigmatic places on the planet. Many ideas have emerged concerning the Polynesian immigrants, the Rapa Nui, and the end of their society. What remains are 900 Moai sculptures, huge, human-like monoliths, scattered around the island, one of which stands more than 70 feet tall. On the southeast coast, at Ahu Tongariki, 15 Moai sculptures stand side by side. 
Because there are few flights here and lodging options are restricted, you should plan your stay well in advance. Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco The Golden Gate Bridge connects San Francisco and Marin County by across the Golden Gate Strait for 1.7 miles. The bridge's welcome center includes exhibits and information about the bridge's history and construction. Take the Golden Gate Bay Cruise from Fisherman's Wharf for a unique perspective. This tour travels beneath the magnificent Golden Gate Bridge and around Alcatraz Island. Prepare your camera for the frolicking sea lions and dolphins, you could even see a whale. Neuschwanstein Castle, Schwangau, Germany. This fairy tale like castle and its beautiful surroundings, built by King Ludwig II of Bavaria, combine for a fantastic experience. In fact, it has long been speculated that it was the basis for a few Disney princess castles. Due to the popularity of the castle, it is recommended to book your tickets well in advance, since the location is one of the most visited destinations in the world, particularly during the summer. After you've seen the castle, take a stroll, if you dare, across the sky-high Marienbruck, a tiny bridge hung over the cliff-hanging Pollitt Canyon. Leaning Tower of Pisa, Pisa, Italy This magnificent medieval structure's construction began in 1173 and lasted more than 200 years. It's one of four structures of the Piazza dei Miracoli, or Square of Miracles, ceremonial complex. Climb to the top of the bell tower before visiting the medieval Pisa Cathedral and the Baptistry. After that, join hundreds of visitors standing from every angle to get a photo of themselves holding up the Leaning Tower of Pisa. The Great Pyramid of Giza, Cairo, Egypt The Great Pyramid of Giza and the surrounding pyramids are almost 4,000 years old and are located along the Nile River outside of Cairo. These ancient ruins, commissioned by King Khufu circa 2500 BC, serve as reminders of Egypt's affluent and strong past. They are also one of the ancient world's seven wonders, and the only one still standing today. If this is your first visit to Cairo, try taking a guided tour to gain a better knowledge of the wonderful architecture. While you're here, don't forget to pose with the Sphinx, one of the world's oldest statues. The Western Wall, Jerusalem, Israel This important Jewish pilgrimage destination, located in Jerusalem's old city, is also known as the Wailing Wall. The wall, which originates from the 2nd century BC, is the only surviving relic of Jerusalem's Second Temple. Take the behind-the-scenes tour of the Western Wall Heritage Foundation to view fresh subterranean finds like as a Roman road, royal chambers, and ritual baths. For milder temps and less crowds, visit in April, May, October, or November. La Sagrada Familia, Barcelona, Spain In 1882, work on this enormous edifice began. The complex is scheduled to be finished in 2026, after 144 years. La Sagrada Familia, designed by Antoni God, is one of around 20 magnificent masterpieces in Barcelona by this renowned architect. His most gigantic work is regarded to be La Sagrada Familia. 
Most days, the Basilica is open later, but you should reserve tickets ahead of time and prepare properly because queues to enter can be quite lengthy, especially during the summer. The colorful, gothic-style decor is stunning, so bring your camera. Christ the Redeemer, Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro and Brazil are both represented by Christ the Redeemer. The iconic statue is approximately 98 feet tall and was unveiled in 1931. It offers absolutely breathtaking views of Rio de Janeiro from the rugged hilltop of Corcovado. You may get to the statue by cab or by taking the train up the mountain. Visit early in the morning or late in the afternoon for less crowds, cooler temps, and selfies without the glare of the sun. Blue Mosque, Istanbul The inside of this magnificent mosque, which is lined with over 20,000 handmade ceramic tiles, is suitably called for its blue colors. The Blue Mosque, built in the 17th century, is located in the ancient city, across from Hagia Sophia. This was done on purpose, since the Ottoman ruler at the time desired an edifice to equal the Hagia Sophia in magnificence. Today, the mosque is one of Europe's most popular tourist destinations. There is no admission fee, but visitors must remove their shoes and women must cover their heads and shoulders. Keep in mind that the mosque shutters for 90 minutes five times a day for the call to prayer. The Colosseum, Rome Emperor Vespasian's son Titus declared 100 days of games as the opening festivities for Rome's Colosseum. The amphitheater, Rome's largest Colosseum, could seat more than 50,000 people. Travelers searching for a more in-depth experience should book a space on Live Italy Tour's Colosseum VR Tour. This six-person trip bypasses queues and provides private access to the arena floor. The itinerary includes stops at the neighboring Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. The Grand Palace, Bangkok The Grand Palace, built by King Rama I in 1782, is a collection of traditional Thai structures that house historical and religious places. The palace is also known for containing the Chapel of the Emerald Buddha, which houses the famed Green Jade Buddha statue. This is a very valuable and precious relic in Thailand. For foreign visitors, the entrance charge to the complex is roughly $15. It's also worth noting that, being a house of worship, the dress code is conservative. Statue of Liberty, New York The Statue of Liberty, located in New York Harbor, is one of the most iconic symbols in the United States. The French people presented the statue to the United States in 1886 to represent goodwill between the two countries, and the location was designated a national monument in 1924. Ferries to the statue depart from Lower Manhattan's Battery Park and stop at both Ellis and Liberty Islands. Buy your tickets in advance, especially if you want to see the pedestal and crown, and download the free mobile app before you go for the greatest experience. Petra, Petra, Jordan This ancient lost city, located roughly 150 miles south of Jerusalem, is one of the most stunning archaeological sites in the world and is considered one of the new seven wonders of the world. Between 400 BC to 106 AD, 
Petra was the prosperous capital of the Nabataeans. Hire a professional guide for the most educational experience. Also, remember to wear comfy shoes. The trek between the treasury and the monastery will take about two hours. Stonehenge, Wiltshire, England. The Stone Circle at Stonehenge is one of Europe's most famous sites. This 4,500-year-old Neolithic structure was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1986. Stonehenge is around 88 miles southwest of London, so it's doable as a day excursion from the metropolis. Arrange for a Stone Circle access visit to get near to the monument for photography, which you may do through the English Heritage Stonehenge website. Blue Domes of OIA, Santorini, Greece. This is the renowned Blue Domed Cathedral that may be seen in many Santorini pictures. The magnificent cliffside hamlet of OIA, located on the island's northern shore, is one of Greece's most photographed attractions. Wind your way across the island's signature white and pastel-colored structures and cottages.